What's up, Gender Blenders? It's Brent. I know I missed you guys two weeks. Well, technically one week. Um, it is technically Saturday, so you'll probably be watching this on Saturday, but in case you're on the other side of the world, or, um, I don't know, you're watching it right now, I guess. Technically, it's still Friday. Anyway, regardless, I'm here. Two, uh, two weeks and one, so I missed week 163. Uh, what would you do, um, or how would you react if you found out that someone knew you pre-transition was going around letting people who are not aware about you. Um, so basically what would we do if somebody was outing us? Um, I was actually in this situation not that long ago. Uh, I've been in this apartment complex for uh, almost six years now. I'd be signing my sixth lease. Um, and so they knew me pre-transition. Well, one lady. The other ladies knew, but the uh, one lady's still been there. So my friend dropped off a package for me. Um, well, I'd left something at her house, so she dropped it off for me. And uh, she dropped off the office, and she said she was dropping it off for Brent Freeland. And the lady at the office said, uh, does she know you're dropping something off for her? And she said, yes, he knows I am. And the lady said, well, she can come down anytime uh, and pick it up. So, you know, I was kind of pissed off about it. But I thought about the situation. And, um, and you know, I went down there and I kind of confronted her on it. Um, she denied it, of course. Uh, but I did let her know that, um, you know, it could be putting me in a dangerous situation. So uh, I think everything was handled pretty well. Um, I basically told her, you know, what I heard. I picked up my package. Uh, I actually made a video about it. Uh, if you want to hear the whole story, um, I'll put that link down there. But uh, what came out of it was I felt like she... Um, but, you know what, I'll tell you. So, you know, I went down there, and, you know, I went to pick up my package, and I said, well, my friend said this, and she said, um, you know, uh, she denied it, you know. She said, well, sometimes people slip up, they use the wrong pronouns, and I said, well, I understand that, but, you know, my friend said when she corrected you, you still use the wrong pronouns. And she denied it, of course. She's like, well, I don't know, I don't remember that happening, was her exact words. But, you know, I wasn't trying to start an argument, I was just letting her know it wasn't okay, because my concern, you know, yeah, she disrespected me, alright, you know, whatever, that doesn't bother me so much. What bothers me is that if she's going to tell my friend, and she doesn't know how long my friend has known me, um, you know, and she's going to tell her, then um, who else is she telling, you know, and then that could potentially put me in a dangerous situation. So... Uh, that's how I handled that. Um, she seemed though, more aware now, so that's cool. Um, and I'm just not going to sign my lease. I'm going to go somewhere else. Um, so I'm going to move. Oh, that's going to be, that's going to suck. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. But that's, uh, that's off topic. <laughs> but uh, maybe you guys will be along for the ride. Um, so yeah, that's how I handled that situation. How I would handle other situations would be... Um, Man, I I don't know. I would just talk to the person. You know, there's really nothing you can do. Um, you can address the issue uh, and just go from there. I try not to associate myself with people who would be like that. Um, you know, if I have to be around them, I'll be civil. It's whatever. But they're I, they're not people I consider my friends. Um, and you know, I figure if somebody finds out about me, I guess that was meant to be. Um, I'm not trying to live completely stealth life. I know that's me. I know there's probably many of you out there who uh, feel opposite. Um, which is awesome, because I battled that for a long time, uh, but um, I do, I don't know, I do live semi-style, so if it happens, it happens, but I will address it, definitely don't want to keep people who are going to disrespect me in my life, period, um, and some things you can control, some things you can't, you know, so it is what it is, uh, this week's topic is going to be pretty quick, because I think it's just about regrets, do you have any regrets? And, uh, I do not have any regrets. Um, alright, and this week's topic is, do you regret transition? What would you do different if you had to start all over again? Um, you know what, this is going to be easy for me. I don't regret transition at all. Uh, I am the happiest I've ever been in my life. I'm comfortable. I feel like I'm finally an adult. I can finally look at the world as an adult's perspective for a long time, or from an adult's perspective. 
for a long time I felt like I was incapable of growing up. I was, you know, almost stuck in this childlike uh, age. Um, I definitely feel like I found my career, my future, everything. I feel like it's just come together for me. Love it. No regrets. Um, would I do anything differently? No. I feel like this whole journey, it hasn't exactly been easy. Uh, it hasn't been super difficult. Um, it's. I've definitely learned. I've definitely taken a lot from it. I've met a lot of really cool people. Um, I really am enjoying, and I say enjoying because I believe it's still going on, uh, everything that transition has brought me. So I would not change anything. And on that note, I'm all caught up. So hopefully I'll see you guys on time next week.